Good morning. I asked the Lord this morning what type of message I should give, and I feel like he was speaking to me and said a message of comfort and peace, that, that as the Lord's people, we need a message of comfort and of peace, because those are two things that we're all searching for and wanting and hoping that we would have and receive each and every day, comfort and peace. So he led me to the scripture, John chapter 14, where Jesus comforts his disciples. This is shortly before Jesus is crucified and Jesus is telling his disciples at the end of John 13 my children I will be with you only a little longer you will look for me and just as I told the Jews so I tell you now where I am going you cannot come and then in chapter 14 verse 1 do not let your hearts be troubled you believe in God believe also in me my father's house has many rooms and if that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This is so comforting to me. Um, I remember when, when I accepted the Lord as, as my savior many years ago, reading this scripture and just having so much peace from the Holy Spirit, knowing that in God's house, in his kingdom in heaven, in, in his mansion, um, there's many, many rooms and that there's enough room there for you today, friend. There's enough room for me there today um, that he has gone ahead of us to prepare a place for us. And it's just so much more than we could ever ask for or imagine. And we'll never be able to picture what that what that is until we get there. But in the in the amplified, the word believe, you believe in God, believe in God is stretched out to say adhere to trust in and rely on. And then in the King James version, where it says my father's house has many rooms, it says my father's house has many mansions. So what a beautiful picture to to know that God has that Jesus has gone ahead of us to prepare a place for us in his father's house and that there's many rooms and that there's enough room for us and when we've accepted Jesus as our lord and savior um our name is written in the book of life and our salvation is sealed and Jesus has gone ahead to prepare a place for us and that should give us so much comfort and peace today to know that and I also love in Isaiah chapter 32, verse 15, when the spirit is given to us from heaven, deserts will become orchards, thick and fertile forests. Then justice will dwell in the wilderness and righteousness will live in the fertile field. The fruit of that righteousness will be peace. Its effect will be quietness and confidence forever. My people will live in peaceful dwelling places, secure homes, and in undisturbed places of rest. The scripture has also given me so much comfort. And, and I've asked the Lord, Lord, help me to lay down in, in a peaceful dwelling place, in a secure home, in an undisturbed place of rest. And of course, in heaven, where, where Jesus' mansion is with many, many rooms, that is a peaceful dwelling place, a secure home, and an undisturbed place of rest. But I feel like as Christ followers with the Holy Spirit indwelling within us that we can, we can have this now on earth. Um, we have Jesus's kingdom within us so we can lie down in his peaceful dwelling place, in his secure home and in his undisturbed place of rest. And he will give us that peace and he will surround us on every side um, from the enemy. And I'm thankful for, for a God of comfort and peace today. Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for your comfort and peace. My hair is going crazy. I thank you, Lord, that um, that you help us to lay down in those peaceful mm -hmm. dwelling places, in a secure home, and in an undisturbed place of rest. I pray for my friends today, Lord, that you would be with them, that you would go ahead of them, before them, around them, within them, and that they would find their comfort and their peace 
in you, Jesus, that you would surround them on every side with your wall of fire on the outside and your glory within, and that you would hold your child so close today. God, you know your child. You know, Lord, that your son or your daughter needs your peace and needs your rest today, God, and only you can give that, Lord. Only you can give comfort, peace, and rest in the middle of a storm. Thank you for this day, Lord. We praise you with all we are today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.